In this video, we're going to answer a viewer's question regarding to the question on how to hide grid lines in Chart.js 3. So this was uh, this question was made by one of the viewers who watched one of my other videos related to how to add a data label only to the last point in a line chart. And if you scroll down here, here you can see Abdullah asking the following question. So special thank you for Abdullah for asking this question. And here he says the following, can you please tell me how to hide grid lines? All right, so with this question, I only can assume a few things here. I assume you are probably using a line chart or a bar chart, which is the most common one where you want to hide the grid lines. So let's start and work with that. So in here, we go to chartjs.org and we're going to copy the default settings from chartjs. Just copy all of this. And I'm going to paste it in here. And once I paste it, I will give it a proper indentation as well. And I will remove this here. We're going to give it a div with a class name of chart box. Basically in here, I want to nest this canvas to avoid that it will scale into infinity. So we're going to give it a fixed height or fixed width to be specific. So we say here a style tag and in here, we just get the chart box class and then we say dot chart box and in here we say with 800 pixels all right once we save this here we're not done yet what we need to do more is add up the javascript library we click on getting started and getting started sub menu and in here we just copy this part of the code all right so once we did this Refresh it, there we are. So now I want to explore and how can we remove the grid lines. To understand this, where you can find it is basically here in the configuration here. Uh, that's oh, Sorry, not in the configuration, we have to scroll down, basically in the axis here. And what we're expecting here is because you are going to use a line chart, so probably you're using the Cartesan axis by default, which is very, very common. All right, so to do this, I will show you just a quick answer here. It's basically in the scales. So if you're in the axis here, you're working with the, the X and Y scales. Right now, we already have a Y scales here. And to remove specifically the Y grid lines and the Y axis, we need to use a command called grid. And this is in charge S3 new. Before it was always known uh, in charge S2, it was grid lines. But now it's not anymore the case. It's called grid. And here, we just say display false. So the moment we do this, the Y axis will not have any more any grid lines. So let's see. Let's save that, refresh. And you can see here now the Y axis have no grid lines. And you might say, well, why is this horizontal? Well, let me explain. The Y axis is this line here. So basically, everything connected to the Y axis is not being shown, which is correct because the values are basically related to a vertical level. Every line would cover a vertical value here. So now what we have to do is as well is we can remove the horizontal line or basically the lines that are on the x-axis, which is these lines here, which are vertical, but specifically on the bar chart here. All right. So to do that, exactly the same. Make sure you're in the scales. They say x for x-axis. And then in here, we again indicate grid. And once we did that, we say here again, display false. Once we did that, make sure you put a comma here to indicate that there's still any other commands continuing. So save this and refresh. Once you do that, you can see now you refresh the page and there it is, no grid lines at all. So if you go look here in the Cartesan, you can find that here we're going to the grid lines. And these are everything related to the grid lines. You have to look it in the axis Cartesan. And here you can do almost anything related to colors, uh, tick color, etc., etc. So all of these are ways to go. But the most important one, this is basically how to remove the grid lines. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.